Hi friends, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited. I haven't vlogged in the car in so long. Do you guys remember when I used to do this and just like sit in my car and talk forever? We have Cooper and Casper in the back. I'm taking them right now to the groomers because they're just getting hella bushy. I feel so bad because we just drove past um, their daycare. Well, it's it's like a daycare resort place, but it's also where they like do their training and stuff. It's called Splash. And honestly, they're like our second family. We love them so much, but we just passed the place and Cooper and Casper just got so sad because they thought they were going to daycare. They hate the groomers, absolutely hate the groomers. Like they forbid to walk through the door. Also, I wanted to ask all the dog moms and dads out there. When we had Cooper, we tried the little basket car seat thing where it's like it looks like a little basket that you attach onto your car seat and then inside would be um, a seat belt that you could click onto the harness for, of the dog um, but then Cooper would always jump out of it so like that didn't work so then we just settled for the dog seat belt where it's like the long seat belt that you actually attach to the actual seat belt of the seat and then when we got Cooper and Casper we got this um, back seat dog bed and then there's two seat, be seat belts back there that attach onto their harness to keep them safe, but they can still move around. But I just, I don't know, I really want a better option. So right now I'm on the hunt for a better option. And I don't, I was gonna go back to the basket thing. There was this one basket I saw on Amazon. The reviews were all great. Um, but it was kind of elevated but I just don't know if Cooper and Casper are calm enough to stay in the basket um, as you can probably tell they like to run back and forth and look out the window I just I don't know I want the safest option so if you are a dog mom or a dog dad please comment down below and let me know the best solution for this because I have been looking and looking I also saw this other one apparently they were on Shark Tank um, but it had like the dog sitting upright, you know, and like the back against the seat and the reviews all look great and it was like, um, it was approved by like vets all over the country and stuff, but I don't know, it looks so uncomfortable. I haven't talked to our vet yet about it because, um, I've been reading what you guys have been messaging me on Instagram and a lot of you are saying like it's not good for their spine or their organs, so... I'm just gonna completely eliminate it. Casper, do you have to poop? Oh my gosh, yesterday Casper pooped in the car. Um, we had taken him on a walk. Here's the thing about Casper, he is like, he's not like a, oh, I wake up like Cooper and I poop right away. He likes to dance around, sniff the whole entire country and then choose like one place to poop. So yesterday, um, Carlos was driving them in the morning right after he had taken them on a walk and Casper took the biggest shit in the back seat and oh my gosh, it stank up the whole car and we had to clean the bed and everything. Hi, can I have a um, grande matcha green tea with soy? So naturally in a Kim Tai vlog, we have to go to Starbucks. I literally have been in love, 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 love with um, matcha green tea with soy. Um, if you don't want it as sweet, you can get coconut milk, but I don't like it with coconut milk. I don't think it tastes the same. I look so tired today. We are doing a no makeup day. We're gonna do like a skincare thing tonight because I've been getting dry patches around my mouth and on my forehead. Oh, I'm so excited to get home and show you guys um, my new curling iron. I recently just invested in a baby, a baby bliss curling iron. I'll show you guys when we get home. Ooh, people are getting feisty in the Starbucks line. We got our stuff, okay? Um, if you guys ever get the matcha green tea with soy, please do me a favor and shake it up because when I first got it, I didn't know what the heck it was. So I didn't shake it up and the, you know how the straw is like all the way at the bottom? Well, sometimes they don't shake it well when like the barista's making it and you will suck up the matcha powder. And let me just tell you, that thing is very bitter. So, wait, first, first sip. Ugh, home. Don't drink this every day, but like, I have like a few Starbucks drinks that I kinda like 
rotate in and out depending on my mood. So my first one would be in no, in no order at all. Um, the first one would be the matcha green tea with soy. And then I love the strawberry green tea with lemonade sweetened. Oh, I get all this ice because homegirl can't do hot drinks unless it's hot chocolate or tea. But I have to really be craving it. And then what else do I love? I love the mango dragon fruit with coconut milk. That one is a bomb. And then I love the strawberry acai with coconut milk. That one's good, but I don't really crave it anymore. It was really popular last year and I had it all the time. Um, when I'm really thirsty and I want to suck something down, like right away, I get a black tea sweeten. Um, what else I love? I'm not really a frappuccino girl, but if I do get a frappuccino, it's usually the caramel uh, frappuccino the caramel frappuccino with extra caramel or during the holidays the peppermint mocha frappuccino or that caramel brulee one's really good um hopefully i'm not forgetting anything i don't drink any hot coffee and, and if i really want um like true coffee i usually go to lee sandwich which we have it here in orange county i don't think it's anywhere else in the country i could be wrong though um but i go to lee's sandwich because nothing in this world is stronger than vietnamese coffee that thing is like crack in a cup it's it's just oh my god it's out of this world like if you've ever had vietnamese coffee you understand it's insane uh, too much of it could be a little crazy. I am home you guys the saddest thing happened So the last like four or five days Carlos is here. Hi, Hi. baby Hi. <laughs> The last four or five days um, We've been getting so much rain and like the last week was like thundering and it was super windy and it, you guys It's been raining like crazy our patio got ruined It was so windy that the bouquet of flowers in the glass vase um, that I had on the table flew over there was glass everywhere. So Carlos is cleaning that up now and then I have so many flowers around the house I'll just put a new one out there, but it was so scary. We like opened up the balcony um, door and It looked like a tornado hit but Carlos is going to build my shelf. So I'm gonna go into My beauty room and we're gonna situate a few things out. So we're ready for this the guy when he's like done bomb right really good. so good mm -hmm. i don't even like mustard there's a little mustard in it but i'm okay oh, with it. it but i'm okay with it huh it's cute i mean not cute but <laughs> it's you know, good <laughs> you know what would be good on this mayonnaise some chick-fil-a sauce <laughs> we have some in the fridge oh yeah yeah go get some so you guys know those facebook commercials that get you well i don't know if it gets you but it gets me well i ordered these lights they're kind of like the vanity lights like these but the thing about this is you can literally paste it on any mirror and turn it on. I think it runs on battery and you can have lighting to get ready. It looks like this. You guys see what I'm saying? Like you can just put it on the mirror. So I don't have really good lighting in my uh, the section of my vanity. So I bought three of these. So hopefully they work. I'll figure it out. But I'll recommend it to you guys if it does work. We'll see. Before we start anything, Carlos and I are going to run our bed sheets and everything up to the laundry machine and do a little washing. Wash, wash, wash. Um, babe, can you go in the uh, hamper and get the other, the other gray pillowcase? Come on, Tatiana. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I missed it. Wait, no, I got to hype you up.
You guys wanna work with mommy? In case you missed it, Carlos just started a YouTube channel. He does really fun videos in there. It's like a mixture of mukbangs, challenges, like pretty much anything, which, which is really cool. He's just having a lot of fun with it. So make sure you guys go check out his channel. I'll link it down below. Show him love and support. Um, yeah, just wanted to tell you real quick because I don't think I mentioned it the last time that we hung out with each other. So. Okay friends, we have a pile of makeup we need to go through. I also went through my collection inside the closet that I organized and really let go of things that I didn't use. Um, we're gonna go through all of the new brushes in the back here and then we have some lip products and then I really need to fill these drawers up right here with makeup that I use every single day because right now it's just all scattered and like nothing is organized as you can tell. So we have quite a few things to do. Um, Carlos finished my um, rack, and it's so funny. I'm, it's, it's gonna come in, and then I'll explain it to you guys. Question: Do you guys eat it whole, or do you lick the powder off and then eat it plain, or do you put a bunch of it together in your mouth and then suck the powder and then eat it? There's different ways. Yay! In the center. Oh, I like it because it doesn't take a lot of room from our filming. Yeah. Okay, let me just tell you guys. When I saw this on Amazon, I thought it was six feet tall. Uh -huh. I made an Amazon mistake. And I'm uh -huh. sure I'm sure we've all made this mistake where we don't read the dimensions. Alright, you guys, this is the clothing rack with the shelves. Um, like I said, I made an Amazon buyer mistake, which I'm sure we all make once in a while. But it's just short. It's about five feet because I'm five feet and I can stand next to it. But it's cute. I like the design of it and has shells on the side, which we need. And I actually like it regardless because it's so small that we still have room all the way here to put our filming setup and everything. So it's not too obnoxious. Thank you so much. Dang, that's a big pile. You're welcome, <laughs> Yeah, that is a big pile. I'm so excited. We're gonna put our camera stuff on here and then hang um, my clothes that I need to shoot for Instagram because you guys know I ran out of room in that closet. Okay. What's wrong? Like, what's wrong? Tell mommy what's wrong. You sleepy? Is everything okay? Lay down. Sit, sit, sit. Mm, good boy. We're just gonna declutter makeup and then we'll go to the bed. Okay. Father mm. sleeping. Hi, baby. Okay. So these are lashes. I don't think that's much. Bobby doesn't think she's gonna use it that much.
Sorry you guys, lighting changed because it is now nighttime. Casper! Oh! This is the donation pack. It's ginormous. Okay friends, we are back to natural white lighting because I'm using my smaller vlogging camera. So this is the pile that I decided to keep. And now what I'm gonna do is go through the keep pile and declutter it even more. So this bag right here that you see, this whole entire bag, this will be for the giveaway. So I will go over this again and then split them into meaningful boxes. And the rest um, I will donate to like a women's shelter, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have enough boxes for a really good giveaway soon. But here are the things that I wanna keep, but obviously I shouldn't be keeping everything. So I'm gonna go through this pile and really declutter one more time. This is a vibe, I love it. You guys, it looks so good. Okay, unfortunately, Casper, baby, you're in the way. Unfortunately, my little boho basket from Target doesn't fit in there. I wanted to put this baby at the bottom, but it doesn't fit, so sad. And then this wood tray I got from Home Goods. I've been dying for something like this, and I found it the other day. Also doesn't fit, so it's gonna go at the bottom, so I can put maybe like some bags down there, two pairs of shoes, I don't know. Hey, you guys. Careful, no playing like that, okay? Don't really know what we're gonna put here yet. Right now, I feel like this is like a draft. It's not gonna be final until next time we see each other, you guys, but second row, we got some lenses. These are the two main cameras that Carlos and I use. And then these little acrylic tray uh, drawer thingies are from the container store. And the bottom here, I just have all the technology stuff. And then the top, I'm gonna put chapsticks because I have a collection of chapsticks. And then I think I'm gonna put like a flower up there to heighten it up, or give it some height. So yeah, here we have all of my makeup that I'm keeping organized in categories so I can easily store them. Um, so yeah, and then we have trash. We have to go to the box office and get boxes and um, categorize for the giveaway, which Babe, we need to work on that. Giveaway boxes. Oh, okay. Look at all these hangers. Carlos is answering comments. Oh, by the way, I even went as far as getting these color hangers because I wanted to kind of go with the vibe. Cute, right? I love it. I don't know what color Morphe foundation I am, so we're just gonna keep all these <laughs> until I figure it out. I narrowed it down though, so. What? Yeah, they sent me the whole entire color collection, which was like huge. It was like 60 colors, 40 colors. Holy cow. So I just, I figured. That's insane. Yeah, I think it's a waste sometimes when companies do that. I think they should do sample sizes. But, yeah, so we'll save this for another day, right, Koopy? Right, baby? Look at the camera, look. Oh, my angel, my angel.
friends it is late i really underestimated how long this was gonna take i i think i will have to do part two or to be continued because we still have to well i'm glad i went through like all of the declutter part of the makeup but now i have to really deep organize and then one last time see if i can get rid of anything well not get rid but like donate or put in the giveaway and then what we're gonna do is we are going to really sit down and see what are items or products that i love and use every single day um that are like my holy grails and put that in my vanity drawers so whenever i sit and get ready i have those items right in front of me and i don't have to keep getting up and going to my closet and do or looking at my collection so it's kind of dark in here you guys but we went and decluttered all the lip products in here we declutter a little of the brushes but i realized that i love all my brushes and i actually think that i should keep brushes because i find myself buying brushes more than other products um, because I'm constantly giving them away. Like, I feel like I don't need them, but then eventually I do. Wow, really need to clean my mirror. Um, yeah, declutter the lip products. Those are the ones that I'm keeping. We have to go through these. That's trash. Skincare. This is um, new stuff that I have to go through. And then just clear this section. This is looking cute. I think in the next video when we meet again, we will start putting this together and decorating. So this will come together. But so far, I love the vibes. Um, I ended up doing technology on the bottom. And then, as you guys can tell, lip products, chapsticks, new items that I love. And then you guys already saw this in my other organization video for my closet, but everything is categorized, so I just have to go through and really organize this. And then, like I said, pick my holy grails and put it in my vanity so I have those. But friends, I'm so freaking tired. I will have to see you guys in the next video. I will make sure to announce the giveaway that's going on um, whenever I'm ready. I just need to make sure that I'm situated here and then we can do the giveaway. So I probably we'll put the giveaway in the next um i'm sorry in the next organizational video which maybe will be next week or the week after i'm not sure um i'm really trying my hardest to get my shit together and get my products in places so i can get makeup tutorials up for you guys i haven't uploaded a makeup tutorial in three months and that makes me sad. I do miss it. I've been wearing makeup a lot, if you guys haven't noticed, on Instagram stories. And I've just been loving it again. My, I think sometimes you take a break from something and you really start missing it again. So that's our plan. I'm really, really happy to be active on here again. I really do miss my main channel and I miss the reason why I created videos for my main channel. Um, but it was good to take a break and focus on other things. Um, and kind of just take time off but I've been really enjoying these videos I think I'm finally doing videos that I love and not feeling a lot of pressure from maybe like the community to be a certain way or like I have to spit out certain videos so I'm finally doing videos that make me happy which basically is all I'm trying to say but I love you guys so much I hope that you will oh hopefully I'm not covering the mic I hope that you will join me back in my next video and you'll come back for more love hanging out with you guys please leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys love these type of videos and subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys so much and I will see you later bye my loves